everyone, welcome to another week of Check It Out, where I recommend titles for you to learn from, connect with, and explore. This week's title is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. This is a historical fantasy book, and it is about Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and his sister. Um, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, everyone knows the name, uh, everyone knows the music. In fact, I'm playing a little bit in the background for you. Um, but not everyone knows his story, and they definitely don't know about Mariana Nannerl Mozart, his equally accomplished sister. Um, this is mainly her story, um, and I really love that. Trained by her father from a very young age, Nannerl was a prodigy of an instrument that, was, uh, that had a keyboard, and it's kind of similar to like a harpsichord or a piano. Um, as a woman, though, Nanarol knew that her time in the spotlight was limited, and it would be her talented younger brother who would be able to go on and pursue music and composition as a career, while she would be married off and her future would be to bear and raise children. Nanarol's love for her brother is strong and so pure in the book, I love that. Um, but her desire to not be forgotten in history, uh, to be recognized for her accomplishment in music, is equally strong. So when she's young, she wishes so fiercely that she summons a fairy from the imaginary kingdom of Back, a world that she and Wolfgang, or Wolferol as she calls him, create on their long carriage rides during their musical tour across the country. The kingdom of Back is one of the most luscious fantasy realms that I have ever read about. I loved it. Everything is tinged in blue, so it's you know very similar to the cover, which is gorgeous. Um, so blues and whites, it feels real and lush and beautiful. There's Edelweiss flowers everywhere. Um, two big white moons in the sky and trees with roots that grow in both directions. Um, Nanarol agrees to help the fairy Hyacinth return to power in the kingdom of Back in exchange for immortality through her music. Nanarol and Wolferol must perform tasks to help Hyacinth when the stakes become too high, though, Nanarol must make some really difficult decisions. Um, this book has a little bit of everything. It's a book for all of the senses. You can almost hear the music surrounding the two main characters. Um, I listened to a lot of Mozart while I was reading this and while I was writing this book talk to kind of feel inspired and really get immersed in the world. Um, the combination of music and imagery, the fantasy of the Kingdom of Back, the mystery behind who Hyacinth is and how he kind of ties into the whole story. It all just pulls you in and you never want to leave. Um, like a Mozart concerto, it was expertly accomplished. Um, I also love the intimate relationship between the siblings. Um, there's such a connection between the two, the love of music that really pulls them together that they share. Um, there's admiration, there's sometimes jealousy that they had for each other. It was just, it was so spot on to how sibling relationships kind of are, um, that it was so realistic. Um, and the author did a lot of historical research to kind of back this book, so a lot of this is really founded through the letters that they shared, um, the history that she found, so it's very well researched. Um, Really though, this book is about a woman fighting for her passion and just wanting to be recognized for her talents. Um, it's really an injustice that she never received the amount of fame as her younger brother did um, because as you see in the book, she's just equally responsible for a lot of the most famous pieces that came out of that time. Um, I did a little follow-up reading on her and there are other books about her life if you'd like to learn more about Mariana Nannerl Mozart. Um, themes in this book, be careful what you wish for, and if you love books about the fairy realm, this is definitely for you. Uh, I have some read-alike titles that I want to mention. Um, I don't have them with me, but, uh, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and The Iron King by Julie Kawaga. Um, those are both really great books about, uh, fantasy and fairies and kind of things being turned on their heads, so uh, really good choices if you're into that. This book is available via ebook and e-audiobook, so you can find it online and you can check it out um, digitally. So with that, I hope you found something to book up your week. Thanks everyone!